Hi everyone, I am here this evening, I'm Robin Graham, and I'm here this evening to um, talk about social media and relationships. One of the things that almost every one of my clients who come to me for coaching and mentorship tell me is that they hate social media. They don't wanna be on social media, they don't know what to post on social media, they don't know how to use social media, it's cumbersome and they don't want to deal with it. Well, I kind of feel the same way. There are a lot of times that I don't want to be on social media either. I think that social media is one of those things that um, can be very taxing. It can be very time consuming. It can also take people down this rut of comparison imposter syndrome. And when that happens, we, we don't feel good. We don't feel good when we get off of social media. In fact, we then sometimes end up going into that place of procrastination and paralysis and not wanting to be there at all because it's intimidating. But the reality is you can take advantage of social media you don't have to have it be this thing that is stressful and bigger than you and bigger than your business. The reality is social media is here for us to use as a tool, to use as a marketing tool. In some people will say, oh, it's free marketing. So, you know, great, let's use it for free marketing. The reality is it is not free marketing because you have to take your time and invest time into a, an effective social media strategy. Time is our greatest commodity. It's the most valuable thing we have. So social media marketing is not free. And that's why having it be part of your strategy, your overall marketing strategy is great, it's key, but it is not the end all be all and it's not something that you should put so much emphasis on that it becomes completely stressful and unenjoyable for you. So here's the thing. I would like for you to rephrase your mindset around social media because the goal should be to build relationships. When we use social media to build relationships, there are uh, so many benefits. And those benefits include opportunities for collaboration, opportunities to have accountability partners, opportunities for referrals, opportunities for marketing, opportunities to connect with your ideal clients and build a solid foundation for relationships that will ultimately convert. But the important thing is to approach it as a tool, a tool that you can put valuable content out and you can build relationships. So how do you build relationships on social media? First and foremost, you interact with other people. You take the time to comment, you take the time to engage, and you actually take the initiative to connect with people on a genuine level, you, being your authentic self. So what does that mean? How do you do that? Well, here's the thing. If someone posts something and you see it, instead of just giving a thumbs up or an emoji or just heart, you know, a heart liking it, um, take the time to tell them how that post resonated with you. What about that post actually impacted you and the way you think or the way you feel or how can you relate to that post? How, how do you experience something similar? Or if you are someone in that same area of expertise, share your thoughts on what they've said and how what your viewpoint is on what they've said. You never, of course, want to be confrontational, but you can certainly share your opinions or give a piece of advice. People are welcome to, welcoming to that. Um, so that's the first thing, is you want to actually engage with other people on their content. And then when people engage on your content, you want to make sure that you show them appreciation. If you really love what they've said, pin it. All you do is slide over on the comment and then there's a little push pin that you'll see and you push that and it pins the comment. People think that's awesome because it shows that you appreciate that they took the time to comment on your thread. The other thing you can do is, you know, respond back to them. 
Don't just like their comment. Don't just give them an emoji. Actually think about something that is impactful, insightful, something that you can say to them. Even if it's just a thank you, show them appreciation. And then if it's somebody that you don't know yet that you're not real familiar with, go to their feed and give them a little love in return. And this will help you start to build relationships. Those relationships are opportunities for you to then have collaboration opportunities. And those collaboration opportunities could be anything from, you know, participating in a summit together. It could be collaborating on posts on social media, like on Instagram, they now have the collaboration post. It could be that you have a collaboration opportunity to do um, a, a business together or to invite someone into your membership, your community to speak, or for you to go into their community and speak. The key is that you, as you build relationships and you start collaborating with others, you get to tap into their audience. And because they already trust you, their audience is going to trust you, which is super key. The whole entire point of social media is to build trust. We know that trust determines buying practices, and you've probably all heard me say that a million times, but trust does determine buying practices. People are not gonna buy from you if they don't trust you. So building these relationships on social media is going to be a way that you can really build that foundation of trust. When you start to build that foundation of trust, you will become more recognizable, more memorable, and thus shareable. And that is where referrals come in. So as you build your community, as you have collaboration opportunities, you're going to also increase your opportunities for referrals. And you will truly become seen as an expert in the space that you work in. You'll become, a, a, you'll be seen as an expert in that problem that you solve for your ideal clients, your, those soulmate clients that you deeply connect with and wanna work with. So that is the bonus of building relationships. And I just wanna share an example of this with you. So this week on the podcast, episode 151 of The Robin Graham Show, I interviewed Tamara Andres. And Tamara and I actually met in a clubhouse room. What she was talking about that day really resonated with me. She's a Christian entrepreneur and her she was sharing you know, her faith and her entrepreneurial journey. And we connected on Instagram, started following each other. And one day she put a post up on Instagram about body image and and things like that and it really resonated with me and so i took the time to write a meaningful comment on her post and said you know how the, how that resonated with me and then she hopped over into my dms and said you know hey girl let's connect i would love to have you on my show i'd love to be on your show um let's see what we can do to collaborate Okay, that started it all. And then that's exactly what we've done is we have now become friends, we've collaborated, and we are now tapping into each other's audiences, which is such a huge bonus. Because as you know, people, my people, you will recognize that I trust her and her people will recognize that she trusts me. So we're, we're collaborating and we're expanding our communities which is very key for building that foundation for long-term success. The more people we have in our community, the more opportunities that we're going to have long-term for sales, for referrals, for collaborations, and all those things that are gonna make our business blossom and grow. All right, that is it for today, except, except I forgot. I would love for you to, as you're in the Female Entrepreneur Insider Facebook group, I would absolutely love for you to use this as a platform to practice engagement, to start building relationships, start growing your community right here in this group. That's what this is for. It's a safe place that you can post, you can share about your business, you can share opportunities, you can share your free lead magnets, you can share questions that you need answers to. So start, Start engaging right here and get your feet wet and start building those relationships with the people here in this group and see what happens as you build your community. So start by just putting a comment in this thread, telling everyone here what you do and who you serve and let's see what happens. I bet relationships are formed and I bet people start connecting and collaborations, increased size of communities, referrals and all that good stuff. All right, have a beautiful, wonderful weekend and I will see you back here next week.